Discord. Today we're uh, uh, meeting with uh, Dr. and Dean Bill Summers, and uh, I'm going to be interviewing him about some of the things that he did while he was here at FSU and before he was here. First of all, Bill, what are some highlights of your professional career before becoming a professor at Florida State? Well, I guess uh, the bulk of my career had been in practice before I went into education for librarianship, and that was sort of serendipitous. I, uh, I had been uh, director of a small public library here in Florida, in Cocoa, and uh, was the first professional librarian they had had, and that was kind of interesting because the community was growing very rapidly, and it was... Uh, growing with a fairly highly educated uh, population so it was a stimulating place to be and it was just when the space program was beginning there so uh, there was just a lot of interesting things happening in that community. Uh, then I had the opportunity to move to Providence, Rhode Island, a larger public library system as uh, uh, associate director and, and that was a very interesting experience. It was a different part of the world. I'd never lived in New England before, and uh, I uh, found that I liked it very much and had, uh, had really good experiences there. The director uh, really was oriented to that library's rare book collection, and so he gave me a, a pretty wide sweep of uh, administrative responsibility, which I enjoyed greatly. We also did some interesting things uh, outside the library. Uh, we lobbied through Rhode Island's uh, first statewide library program uh, with uh, substantial uh, state aid to public libraries, including uh, the province public library, which acted as the uh, state's uh, central library, really, because it was such a small state. Uh, we also had good interactions with Brown University, which was very interesting. and. Uh, so it was, a, it was a very positive experience, and I was there four years, and then uh, the opportunity uh, came up open in Florida to be, um, they were looking for a state librarian, and one of my mentors suggested that, uh, that I apply for that, and uh, I did, and was selected, and so I then spent uh, four years as state librarian in Florida, and again, I was the first uh, professional librarian uh, that Florida had had in that post, and uh, that was uh, a good opportunity to do some things. We got a uh, statewide government documents program began, uh, uh, got some legislation passed to create that. Uh, we had the first uh, statewide uh, summer reading program for public libraries that uh, had been conducted uh, in the country. Uh, we uh, built a lot of library buildings with uh, federal grants, uh, really stimulated a, a lot of building activity, uh, spent a lot of money, uh, put a lot of money directly in the libraries. We tried not to siphon off a lot of it at the state level, uh, created, created a statewide uh, teletype interlibrary loan network, which sounds very archaic now. You haven't mentioned this, but uh, you you didn't spend a lot of money on the state library facilities themselves. No. Where, where were you located when you were? Oh state well, library? we were we were in the sub basement of the Supreme Court building, and uh, we were trying to spend some federal money on a new state library building. And uh, I got I, I got an appropriation in one house, and uh, I didn't get it in the other, so that failed. And then. Uh, when Cecil Beach came uh, after our interlude, uh, he, he got the appropriation in in both houses, and the governor signed it, and they built the uh, uh, Gray Building, which is uh, where the library is now. So uh, I enjoyed being state librarian, uh, but I had always had an urge to do uh, to do a PhD. I'd never been able to because I was married and had a family, but then uh, Rutgers offered a uh, Title IIB doctoral fellowship uh, to come there, and uh, so I moved to uh, Rutgers for, for uh, 
about two and a half years to work on the doctorate. And uh, so then uh, while I was doing that, I had not, I really had never had any plans to go into education for librarianship, but uh, while I was uh, at Rutgers, I had, uh, the president of ALA had appointed me to the Committee on Accreditation. And through that, I learned a great deal about education for librarianship and was became heavily involved in it. We passed the, the new standards, uh, the 72 standards, through the council at that time and implemented them. And we also had the first ever appeal of an accreditation decision, which was uh, frustrating but very educational. And uh, so that, that experience sort of got me interested in it. And uh, they were starting a new school at South Carolina and um, wanted me to come there as assistant dean to Wayne Yenowin, who was then in his 60s and had had a heart attack. And I guess they wanted somebody who could step in if need be. So I did that for five years and then Wayne retired and I became dean and uh, stayed there for another nine years. And um, so I'd been there 14 years, and I, th I thought that was a goodly long time for that school to either gain or suffer from whatever I had to offer. And uh, I had uh, married, and uh, my wife had been working in Tallahassee at the State Library. And uh, so she moved to Columbia, and we were looking to buy a house. And then the opportunity at uh, Florida State came along and um, we said to ourselves, how often do you get to move to a town that you already know you like? And so uh, I did apply for it because I thought it would be good for South Carolina for me to move along and I felt uh, too young to, to do the traditional dean thing of rejoining the faculty there. So uh, a move seemed to be, to another deanship seemed to be a good thing. And, Florida State had a doctoral program, which I thought would be fun to work with. And it was, a, I think, a, a better known school. And uh, uh, not larger, but better known. And so um, I came. <laughs>